Happy Melly Monday! Last week I crocheted this massive octopus and this week I want to up the difficulty and make it rainbow. But before I can start, I just bought my very first microphone and I'm still learning how to use the settings, so please let me know how the audio sounds. So back to the octopus, I found all the rainbow colors in my yarn stash, but they are all different thicknesses. It should work out though if I double up these four colors and triple up my green and blue. That brings the yarns up to a similar enough thickness, I just need to find out what size hook I need, so I'm trying out various ones and 5mm seems to work the best for this one. Since I'll make the tentacles half blue and half purple, I need to start by tripling up my blue yarn, so I'm spooling up one end of it before folding the yarn over and adding the other end. This gives me a triple yarn and I can start following the pattern. I'm basically using the same pattern as last week with just slight modifications, so I'm starting with a slip knot and 21 chains. After the first 8 chains I'm switching to purple and this just gets doubled, so I'm taking both ends of the yarn and making the remaining 13 chains. Then I'm skipping the first chain from the hook and make 5 single crochets into the next 5 stitches. Next up are the 13 half double crochets and 6 of them are made in purple. Now the color changes back to blue, so I'm cutting off my purple yarn, tying off the ends and hiding them in the next half double crochets. After cutting the ends flush and finishing the 7 blue half double crochets, I'm making 2 double crochets into the last 2 stitches, finishing off the first tentacle. The next tentacle is made in the same way, so I chain 8, switch to purple and chain the other 13. Then I skip one, make five single crochets and six half double crochets before switching back to blue, making the other seven half double crochets and the two double crochets. Now I have two curly tentacles done and the other six are made the exact same way. Unlike last week, this octopus will be worked in closed rounds instead of a spiral, so I'm cutting my blue yarn, pulling it out and tying the ends together. Next up is green and since this yarn also needs to get tripled, I'm winding up one end before folding it over and adding the other end. Now, like last week, I find the last double crochet at the base of the tentacle and there should be a small space at each end of the double crochet. I'm putting my yarn through the first space and chaining one to start the new round. Then, beginning at the very same space, I make a single crochet onto each space at each double crochet, so two single crochets per tentacle, giving me 16 single crochets in total, catching the loose ends in the process. To close up the round, I'm finding the first single crochet and I make a slip stitch into it. Then I chain one to start the next round and I begin the pattern in the same stitch I just slip stitched into with two single crochets and a decrease. To make a decrease I find the next two stitches. They each have these two loops at the top and I am picking up just the front loop of each of them and then make a single crochet into that. 
This pattern of two single crochets and a decrease gets repeated all the way around four times in total. At the end of the round I'm ignoring the previous slip stitch and chain. I pick up the first single crochet, slip stitch into it and chain one to start the next round. The repeat again starts in the same stitch and I've written the pattern in the corner including the colors I'm using in case you want to follow along. At the end of the round I'm again ignoring the previous slip stitch and chain and hooking the first single crochet but because the next round will be yellow, I am taking my doubled up yellow yarn to make the slip stitch and chain and I just keep on following the pattern, switching to orange after 3 more rounds. Now before I close up round 8 and switch to red, I need to add the eyes as long as I can still reach inside. These ones should work, so I'm poking them through spaces in the fabric until I'm happy with the position. The backing pieces get pushed down until I feel it clicking and with that the eyes are secure and I can continue crocheting. So I'm reinserting my hook, I take my doubled up red yarn and continue with the slip stitch and chain and I start round 9. But the doubled up red is way thicker than the orange, so I am unraveling the last bit and remaking it with the red as a single yarn. It is now a bit thinner than the orange, but much closer in size than before. So I'm following the rest of the pattern and cutting my yarn at the end. To hide it and close the top I'm using a blunt darning needle, picking up the front loops of all four stitches and pulling my yarn through before going down through the middle. And with that the crocheting is done, but it is still flat, so I'm taking my basket of floof and using the end of my crochet hook to stuff the octopus from the bottom. Once it is full enough, I'm closing up the opening with some green yarn and stuffing the ends inside. And with that, the little rainbow octopus is finished and can join his family on the shelf. Now, whilst writing the script for this voiceover, it has come to my attention that I have exploded. I have literally tripled in size since Monday and we're now at 100 subscribers. That's so crazy, so thank you so much. I did have something planned for 100 subscribers, but this has come way faster than I expected. So you're getting a special episode next Melly Monday. As part of the special, I want to do a question and answer segment, so please leave me all of your questions in the comments below and I'll answer as many as I can next week. Thank you all so much for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed this episode, subscribe for more handmade content every Melly Monday and leave me your feedback in the comments, both for the new audio setup as well as any questions for the Q&A and I'll see you next Melly Monday.